Hi, I'm Etienne Barnard. I'm a data scientist here at SENSE. And so my main task is to help with the process of device discovery and building models that allows us to detect these devices at runtime. So SENSE detects the various devices in your home by looking at the electrical signals, both the current and the voltage, and looking for signatures that, that distinguish these different devices from one another. And what I want to do today is show you some examples of how those appliances or devices have these different signatures. Okay, so here I show the wattage track of a, of a typical, electrical, typical electrical activities in a house. Um, so here, these two panels correspond to the two channels or the two phases that occur in a typical American residential environment. And what is shown from left to right are the times and from top to bottom is the amount of watts that are consumed at that particular time. And so in this track here, we see that initially there's nothing going on. And then suddenly there's a lot of wattage that's consumed in both of these channels. So this is now really like a symphony that's starting and suddenly some instruments are playing and we see that they play together across both channels and then turn off and then both turn on again. Um, so clearly there's something big that's happening across the two channels. Um, just by looking at this, it's not clear what that something big is, but if I zoom in, so I'm just gonna zoom into that initial flank there. And now we see, aha, there's a big pulse of wattage that's drawn there and then there's something that ramps up in two steps and gradually falls down. Now, almost the only thing that has this pattern of ramping up and then falling down like that is a heat. And that's preceded right before the heat by this strong surge of activity. That type of surge is typical of a motor. And so this combination of a motor very rapidly followed by, by heat across the two channels is almost always an electric dryer. So that's what's going on here. And we see there's something that happens on that top channel that's apparently unrelated to the dryer. And in fact, that's true. I've been looking at the signal a while now, and that's probably a pump or something that's just running in the background. And we're going to see several examples of that and just ignore it. But look down here, there's something else that's happening on this bottom channel. We see these little pulses and they keep getting bigger and bigger. Let me zoom out a little bit more and you'll see as the dryer is running, these pulses are sort of running consistently on this bottom channel. Now that is very typical of a washing machine. While the, um, the dryer's heat is turning on and off, simultaneously on the one channel, the washing machine is, is doing whatever a washing machine does. And so again, to use my metaphor of the, of the orchestra, um, while the violins are playing, the clarinets come on and they, they make their own beautiful music at the same time as the, uh, as the violins are carrying on. And we see that go on for quite a while and there suddenly the washing machine starts turning down. So something else is happening there. And uh, that's of course the end of the first washing cycle that's happening there. And oh, suddenly see what's happening here. While the washing machine is now going into some other cycle and the electric dryer is still continuing its merry, merry way, yet another thing is turning on there. And this is very typical of what we see. And I'm just changing the wattage scale so that we can see while the electric dryer is going on, on both channels, something else is turning on on both channels as well. And I'm going to zoom into that something else because that will help us identify what's going on there. See that something else also has this pattern of heats that are turning on and off. But here it's several different heats, not just those two that we saw for the dryer. And that is very typical of an oven. And so that's what we're seeing here is the pattern of how the oven is turning on and off. Our friend, the washing machine is going through its normal cycling pattern there. And the dryer, I think, has actually stopped its last run now. So what we're seeing is now the oven and the washing machine. 
And that goes on for quite a while. And finally here, we see a very typical thing for the end of a, of a washing cycle, namely the spin cycle. And so after, at the end of the spin cycle there, the washing machine is finished. Um, it seems like the dryer has also done its last drying. And so if we zoom out again, now we see just the oven by itself. And the oven is, is still doing its merry heating things there. And that continues up until this point when the oven has finished doing its work. And so the final symbol that ends the playing of the orchestra is this bump down there. If I zoom in, then those of us who read our blog will recognize what this is. This is the microwave oven. So the microwave oven charges up there, then the magneton turns on, and finally, when the magneton turns off, all this cycle of activity is finished, the laundry has been done, and the food has been made.